temperature is what's went out. All right. Um, guys, if I said simplify this, what would we do? Add them, right? We would say 5 plus 3 is 8. Correct? So guess what? Simplifying this, we need to add these two, right? Now, there comes a problem because we know that we can only add like terms, right? We can only add like terms. It has to be numbers with numbers, x's with x's, y's with y's, right? So these are not like terms, are they? They're not like terms, are they? So one of the tips that I said is when you get stuck, or another way to look at a problem is always convert it in terms of sines and cosines. So the first thing I'm going to do is cosine is written as cosine. That's good. Sine is written as sine. That's good. But rather than rewriting tangent as 1 over cotangent, 1 over cotangent is not in terms of sines and cosines. I can rewrite this as cosine of theta plus sine of theta times sine of theta over cosine of theta. <coughs> Bless you. The reason why this is important is because now I can simplify this a little bit. x times x is x squared. Sine times sine is sine squared. So now I have a fraction times a whole number. So now I've got to figure out how do I add this expression plus this expression as a fraction? Well. We want to rewrite them both as fractions. And then I realize to add fractions, I have to have common denominators. So I have to multiply by cosine of theta over cosine of theta. When doing that, I get cosine squared of theta over cosine of theta plus sine squared of theta over cosine theta. Now my two fractions have the same denominator, so it's just like this. Right? When they have the same denominators, you just add the numerators. Keep the denominator the same. So I have cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta all over cosine of theta. Now again, I don't know how to add a sine, sine and cosine. Those aren't like terms. I can't add them. However, I can look at my trigonometric identities and realize that sine squared plus cosine squared is equivalent to, well, let's look on the board. Sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So now I have 1 over cosine of theta, which I can rewrite as simply as, based on my identities, secant of theta. Yes? That's why they're up there. So they'll remain up there until you guys take your quiz, OK?